Well, the back friends, you know what that means. Chris Lloyd from the Film Yap is back with his reviews of movies that are out in theaters and on demand this weekend. Chris, welcome as always. Great to be here. We have a busy week, kind of non-superhero week, but I, I like to take a little break from that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. It is nice to have a little pause from all the action. Some balance. Yeah. yeah. So uh, first up is uh, the big movie week is No Hard Feelings. that stars Jennifer Lawrence in a sort of a raunchy comedy. Oh, okay. Which, uh, I don't know. She's always been kind of like a serious actress or, you know, superhero movies, never really done a body comedy like this. She plays sort of a kind of a loser living in Montauk, gets her car repossessed uh, and needs some money. So she ends up getting into this deal with some rich, rich people to date their teen son for the summer, be his girlfriend, help him come out of his shell because he's kind of been having some problems and a whole lot of, you know, sexy escapades happen, <laughs> things going on. Uh, the movie actually has a lot more like feelsy huh. touch to it, especially towards the end. She finds she really has feelings for the kids, not as a romantic partner, but yeah. you know, more just like he, someone who needs his help. Okay. Uh, there is still plenty of good laughs into it. There is one scene. Uh, I'm not going to describe it other than to say Jennifer Lawrence really goes for it. Okay. And I laughed so hard I was crying. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. I have to know what that is. No hard feelings. You, you'll know it when you see it. <laughs> Talk to us about Asteroid City, Chris. So this is the latest from Wes Anderson. If you know Wes oh, yeah. Anderson's aesthetic, very sort of dry, ironic humor. It's set in 1955, somewhere in the desert, where a bunch of people have sort of randomly come together for this uh, once a year a celebration of the asteroid that landed there. Huh. And then more strange things happening. So many people are in this, like, you know, Jason Schwartzman, uh, Scarlett Johansson, Tom Hanks. I mean, I can sit here and list them all. If you know the Wes Anderson style, you know what it's all about. Uh, it's all very bright and colorful. Yeah. He loves to like he, make these movies that call them like his little dioramas. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's like all these little things, and he built a whole town out in the city to shoot it. Um, it's not for me, this one. I've been very hot and cold on Wes Anderson. Uh, just, you know, his characters, they're not people. They're, they're, they're like yeah. stick figures inside those little dioramas. And of course, you know, when they're experiencing emotions and everything sort of just at this ironic tilt, Sure. you know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Not for me, but uh, I think some people, if you're a Wes Anderson fun, fan, you're going to love it. Okay. All right. Chile 76. This is a uh, drama set in the Pinochet dictatorship yep. in uh, that era. And it's about a, a wealthy woman, a grandmother, sort of having a very comfortable life. Uh, and she sort of gets drawn into helping some rebels without even really sort of realizing what she's doing. There's mm. a man that's injured. Her priest asks him to help him because she has some medical skills back in the day. Uh, and she just, you know, finds herself going on these like uh, after nighttime excursions uh, and, you know, coming up with a curfew and, you know, risking her own life. I don't know. This movie has been described as Hitchcockian. Okay. Didn't quite do it for me, sort of lacking in the intrigue. Felt like it had a, a third act that was missing to me. Mm, all right. Okay. Historical drama. Maybe a, just a barely passing grade from Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Blue Jean. So this is uh, set in 1980s England based on us, uh, real lives of some teachers. <laughs> when they were passed something called Section 28, which prohibited the promotion of homosexuality in schools. Okay. Uh, and so it, about a, a young gay woman who's a teacher, enjoys her life, but very much closeted, uh, uh, and has a new student who enters, who uh, obviously is gay herself and starts getting bullied, and her instinct is to protect her, but things go on. She has relationships with her very out girlfriend, um, and it's just a very emotional look at a time when, you know, nowadays we don't even think about closeted life and what that was like. But it sort of brings us back to a reality. Okay. All right. Uh, what's new on digital in demand, Chris? So on, uh, on uh, you can get this on pretty much any of the uh, rental platforms out there. It's surrounded. This is very sharp and stylish western. It stars Letitia Wright. You probably know her from the Black Panther movies. Okay. And she plays Mo Washington, uh, a gunslinger who is traveling out west to make her fortune. Um, she's actually also disguised herself as a man. She was a buffalo soldier, uh, and she gets caught up in a standoff with a uh, outlaw played by Jamie Bell, uh, and sort of just becomes this big game of wits and what's gonna happen. Very sleek, stylish, sharp. I enjoyed this a lot. My only disappointment with this movie is I would have loved to have seen this on the big screen in theaters. Mm, okay, all right. Looks good. I like yeah. one of those, you know, American Southwest. She wears her hat just so, and knows how to like tilt her brim up so her yeah. eyes emerge. Yeah, uh, nice. yeah. she's got all the, all the moves. That's great. Uh, so if people want to follow along with you or get more of you and your team's reviews, where should they go? Of course, go to filmyap.substack.com. You can just read it like a website or hit that subscribe get button and get all this amazing reviews and commentaries and stuff in your email inbox. And the chance to win some cool prizes too. Yes. Almost every week. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Chris, thanks as always. Go to filmyap.substack.com to subscribe and read more. Coming up next, we're going to get a taste of some of the all-natural preservative-free drink mixes from Kraft Cocktails and find out which local farmer's markets you can find them at. That's right. There's more Indie Now coming up right after this. You don't want to miss the fun.